Welcome to my lecture online. The next postulate, postulate number three, is called the protractor postulate because it involves making measurements of angles using a protractor. So the definition can be as follows. The measure of angle AOB is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the position of the ray OA on the protractor and the position of the ray OB on the protractor. There's nothing like a good picture to show you what that actually means. So here we have a protractor, we have a ray from O to A, a ray from O to B, and notice that it crosses the protractor here, and of course it depends upon which side you start. If you start from the left, this ray will have a measurement of 70 degrees over here, and the ray OB will have a measurement of 50, 150 degrees over here. But if you start from the other direction, you can see that ray OB has a measure of 30 degrees, and the ray OA has a measure of 110 degrees. But it doesn't matter which direction you start from, you can see that the measure of the angle, by the definition, will be exactly the same. The measure of angle AOB, starting from the left, we take 70 degrees, we subtract from that 150 degrees, we take the absolute value of that, that's the absolute value of minus 80 degrees, which is indeed 80 degrees, and that's the measure of the angle between ray OA and ray OB, or the angle AOB. And then you can see that if we start from the other direction, the measure of the angle would then be 30 degrees minus 110 degrees, which gives us minus 80, but since we take the absolute value, we get again a positive 80 degrees as a measure of that angle. And that is what we mean by the protractor postulate.